Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? A car is leaving. Come over here. Come here, let me show you something. I thought he was gonna wake her up. Collie's sleeping in the crib right now. So we have one crib. This is why I'm doing this video. This is why I'm making the switch. Say hi, JJ. Hi, JJ. <laughs> so we are going to transition JJ into the guest room. I wanted to document this. I already started moving furniture, which is why JJ was playing with that lamp and there's pillows in the hallway. Uh, I started moving furniture and realized I need to film this. I want to document this. I want you guys to see what our guest room looks like now and what it's going to look like. You can hop up and what it's going to look like once I change it into JJ's basketball room. So are we going to make you a basketball room? Want to? You better love it. I ordered a bunch of stuff, as in like bedding, wall decor. Uh, I got a bed bumper for him because he's going to transition from the crib to a queen size bed. This was my queen size bed before Joey and I got married, and I love it. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to waste money on a toddler bed. I'd rather just have a queen size bed because I think it's going to be a big step. Are you checking yourself out in the mirror? No. <laughs> I'm checking clothes. You're checking your clothes? Uh, yeah, I'm checking clothes. Okay, you have a really cool tank top on. You should look at it in the mirror. You look so good. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought 16 times already. That's what happens. I've been up since, it's 9 a.m. I've been up for about four hours. <laughs> I just put Collie down for a nap, so I am going to start moving furniture around. I don't have anything yet for his room except for the bed bumper I got uh for the one side of his bed but I want to move the bed I want to push it against the wall so only so we can't roll off that side and we only have a bumper on one side and then again I'll show you all the basketball stuff as it comes in and then what the room looks like when it's all complete this is going to be a vlog throughout the month probably because I have to wait until everything comes in the mail so anyways let me show you what the room looks like Okay, I'm trying to be quiet because Collie's sleeping. I started moving that nightstand already, but first of all, we have to get a, when we moved in, the people that lived here before us installed a smoke detector in the middle of the room. It makes the no sense. So anyways, I have electrician an electrician coming to change that outlet and um, install a fan and a light. So we can have a fan and a light in here because JJ loves his fan. And when we moved in, we had fans installed in both of the other rooms. So the bed, I want to move against this wall. So the long side's over there. And then there's one side here. We'll put one nightstand here. And then I'm just going to get rid of that one. Probably going to leave the curtains as is. We need to get rid of all this basketball stuff and just, I don't know, crap. We need to toss it or put it up in the attic. So like the owie. you want an owie? Oh, let me see it. Hey, Grandpa Tom here working. Gotta move that out. Collie's helping. Lamp came in. Curry jersey is ready. Cute basketball picks. Got the bedding washing downstairs. We're ready to decorate. Oh, we're ready. Oh, it looks so cute. That's what I did. Oh, it's so cute. Today is the day. I am beyond excited right now. My dad is here. I just dropped JJ off over with my mom. My dad came over with all his tools and um, I put Collins down for a nap. So he is upstairs hanging everything for JJ's cool new room. We are moving JJ into the guest room so we can move Collins into the nursery or JJ's old room with the crib. I didn't want to just buy him a toddler bed and waste money. I think that he is going to want us to sleep in there with him because it's going to be a new room and unfamiliar to him. So a queen bed in there is perfect. And I mean, I'm hoping he's just so excited that it's all decorated basketball theme that he wants to be in there, but we'll see. So anyways, the air turned on, it might be kind of loud. I'm gonna link everything that I can 
below, uh, below in the description bar so you guys can see this stuff in case you feel like doing a basketball theme room. I don't love everything that I got. I think I might return the rug that I got. It's kind of just a tripping hazard for JJ. He falls all the time anyways. And it's, I thought it was more like tan or basketball court color. It was like orange. So uh, anyways, I'll go over those items later, but I am so excited for today and for you guys to see just how amazing my dad is at everything. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna be too loud because Collins is sleeping, but I wanted to show you guys uh, this thing. I ordered it on Amazon. I just wanted a single one because I knew his wall would be on the other side of the bed. So this goes underneath the fitted sheet. Here's all his basketball sheets. Um, so it's a little bumper to keep him from rolling off the bed, but I wanted to show you. They don't come apart, buddy. They don't come apart. It's just the lamp. Look around the room. This is your new basketball room. This is JJ's room. What? Look at your basketball shots. Do you see the jersey? Do you see a hoop? What do you have? Oh my gosh. What's the picture of? Next to the lamp? Look at the picture. What picture is that? Basketballs, dude! Oh, that's so cool. Hey, that's look over so here. Cool. <laughs> Is that a cool hoop up here? Hey, look behind you. Look at the basketball court rug that we just. And Mr. Bear is in here. Look at you can step on your stool to get up on the bed. So you can get into bed. <gasps> look at your new bed. What? the basketballs? <gasps> oh, oh, God. This is awesome. Oh, Look at your jersey. Who's there? And your pictures. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Is this cool or what? Look at all those. What's this? Was that you and Dada coaching? Yeah. Yeah? That's so cool. Do you love your new room? This is your basketball room. Do you love it? Yeah. Can you sleep in here tonight? In your new bed? Yeah. Here, hop in bed with me. Look, this is the bumper that I got. So oh, nice. Come on. What that was. Let's get in here. Get in bed with me. Come on. Get it out? Yeah. He's like, I just took a three hour nap, you guys. I'm not sleeping anymore. Well, do you love it? Is this awesome? I told you it was going to be your basketball room someday. Bye. 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 <laughs> what? What? It doesn't come apart, buddy. They all just stay together. No. Yep. That's how it is. Well. I'm excited for you. What? Your cool new room, dude. I love it. I love it. I We can't shoot those. We gotta get different balls to shoot. Whoa, we're already shooting. Woohoo! You're already shooting on your new hoop? Oh, mouse! What's the best? It's at the end of the bed. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, on the bed. I don't see it. Oh, is it under? Oh, I see it. You see it? Oh. <laughs> You're so excited, huh? <sighs> Do you love your new room? Yay. It's cool. Um, Do you just love it? Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me see what you got. Okay. Okay. Downtown. Oh, what is it? 
with your basketballs on it? Yes. What is it? Let's open it. Let's open it. Huh? Open up the zipper on top. Here. What is it? <laughs> you have no idea. Here, let me help you stand it up. This is your laundry hamper. Yeah, you can shoot in that. You can shoot all your dirty clothes in that. <laughs> it's gonna be another hoop for him. Okay, I got this off Amazon for like 11 or 12 bucks and it's seriously, go look for it. It's literally the cheapest thing I've ever seen. Like it just like folds down so easy, but <laughs> you don't want to stand in it, you goop. What are you doing? That's where you're, you put your dirty clothes in there. It advertised like, oh, careful, leather, leather handles. Look at that fine stitch work, you guys. And then this thing like crumples shut. Do you love your hamper? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's a few days post our original room reveal and it went really, really well. JJ was beyond excited to see this basketball room. I think he was most excited about the hoop and probably the bedding. It was just so cute to see his reaction to everything. Like he is Mr. Basketball, of course, cause daddy is. So <sighs> that was really cute. But I was looking back at the footage, realized that <laughs> I wanted to, as I got things in the mail, cause I ordered pretty much everything online. I wanted to show you guys what I got as I opened it and I never did that and then I never told you where I got everything from. So I'm gonna do that really quick so you guys can see and then I'll talk more about transitioning into this room. <laughs> so we'll just start over here. Lamp I got off Amazon. I think it's like an Ashley Furniture uh, item and it was 30 something dollars. And these little things I got from Hobby Lobby, I thought that they were um, thin like plaques that you can put on the wall, hang on the wall. So I could have like put them around or on different parts of the wall, but they're, <laughs> they have a flat side right there. So you can, you just put them up on a shelf or nightstand or whatever. So that's where they are right now. Um, but those I ordered from Home Goods. They were maybe $2 each, $2.50 each. I think everything, the decor was half off that I got there. Okay, this basketball hoop I also got at Hobby Lobby. So those little wood basketball plaques I just showed you and then this basketball hoop as well. This basketball hoop I think was 30 something dollars also on sale. Closet doors I cannot stand. Uh, those I wanna replace eventually. <laughs> as well as these blinds. I wanna get different ones in here and I still need to put the ceiling fan in here. I need to call our electrician so he can install that for us. Oh, I also put lights or glow in the dark star stuff up here. I did a basketball, I did this spiral thing. I wrote JJ Fuca over there with stars and <laughs> I'll get to that in a second as to why. Uh, bedding, I got at Crate and Barrel ordered it offline. It's 100% cotton. The thread count was a lot higher than, they had the almost exact same looking ones at Target for probably a fourth of the cost of these, but the Target ones were a polyester or I don't know. It was a cheap material that I knew would be really uncomfortable for him. So I spent more money just to get the nicer, softer ones. And uh, the duvet covers also actually uh, Crate and Barrel, but I already had that uh, on the guest bed. Picture frames are all from Home Goods. I think the two side ones are eight by tens. I don't remember what this size was. And then I literally just took his old Curry jersey, his one he got on his first birthday, that was his first jersey. And I got a thicker piece of, what is it? Con not construction paper, like poster board paper. And I cut it out to fit that frame. And then I took little pins and uh, pinned the jersey on the other side to kind of pinch it and tighten it so it wouldn't have wrinkles in it or as many. I mean, there's some clearly up top, there's some wrinkles up there <laughs> and it's definitely not perfectly straight or centered, but I gave up because framing this thing literally took me. So it's embarrassing how long it took me to frame this thing, but I wasn't going to pay a ton of money to have somebody frame that because <laughs> it's, it's a toddler curry jersey. So that was super cheap to do. And so fun. Like he loves that thing and just pictures of himself. He loves too. And I, 
can easily print those. I always go to CVS and do the instant print stuff. So I just plug my phone into their little kiosk and print a ton of pictures. That's my go-to place. So that's what I did for those. Joey had uh, a couple of his professional jerseys framed a long time ago and uh, I just ended up putting one on this wall. I thought they're, I mean, they're massive and I didn't want to put multiple on this wall because it would just be too much. So I just did this one right here and we can add stuff to the other sides, I guess. A uh, little stool thing I got originally for his bathroom to use, uh, to step up to brush his teeth and whatnot, but it does help for him to get up on the bed. That's from Home Goods, And this carpet is from Amazon. Again, I'm not a huge fan of it and I might end up returning that. Uh, these guys saw JJ open this the other day. It is the cheapest hamper in the whole world, but he actually loves it and it does stand up on its own. So whatever, it works. But that is pretty much it. This was a cheap dresser I got for Collins probably a week before she was born and I got it off Amazon. It's just so, so, so cheap. Like just, this, I don't know, very cheap piece of furniture, but it works for right now. And I know it's girly white and then this white one, but this is actually a nice piece of furniture, but, uh, I don't care. I like white and it's, it's going to stay in here for now. And JJ doesn't care or notice once he starts caring about his furniture and wants it to be more of a boy manly room, we can switch it out. Um, I also have this that I was thinking about hanging. This wall is so blank over here. So I was thinking about putting this up just to measure his height. We got it from a family friend when he was born. So it says his name on the side, Joseph James and has basketball, just sports stuff. And I actually had this made on Etsy, but didn't hang it up. And it's this cute little wood picture of him with his Lake Show onesie on. Lake Show is his dad's AAU program. So, um, yeah, that is it. So this whole thing was, it was so fun for me to do. And just, again, I was beyond you just get so, you're so happy when your kids are happy. And I was just thrilled to see his reaction. My parents were here that day because my mom had watched JJ earlier and my dad was over here putting everything up. So they got to see his reaction too. Uh, anyways, that went over really well. But then when it came down to sleeping in the bed that night, he just fought me on it so hard, like was not gonna do it, was saying no, crib mama, crib, crib, hold you, and just would not stay in here. And so I gave in and I put him in his crib. And then I think it was the next night, Joey ended up sleeping in here with him and he had to bribe JJ by letting him sit and watch a show on his phone. So they're laying in bed watching YouTube or something on his phone and then JJ would sit up all night probably and watch that. <laughs> or if he got tired, he just says that he wants to go lay in his crib, but Joey made him stay in here with him. And JJ was just, I could hear him crying. I was in our room with Collins. And I know that was a really rough night for Joey. And JJ ended up getting up around 4.30 AM, which is when Collins got up to eat anyway. So I got up with both of them. So Joey could actually finally get some sleep in our room for a few hours before he had to go to work. So. This has not been successful. I even had Colin sleep in here, I think the last two nights. This is a couple days after the big reveal. So Colin slept in here <laughs> and I just set up the, we have two little monitor cameras and I set one up in here for her and just put a barrier. Well, this barrier is already here, but the barrier around and she does great. She does great in here, so maybe it'll your room I don't know I don't know what to do other than put in a big flat screen for JJ to make him actually like this room so oh and the story I was gonna say I put up these um, stars so they'd be glow in the dark at night which might be a nightmare to take down I've never done it before but some of you at home are probably laughing like good luck you can hold this down I was sweating putting them up there's like 400 star stickers on the ceiling and uh, anyways, I did that to try and get him excited to sleep in here and yeah, no luck so far. So I don't know what else to do. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the little bell notification so you never miss one of our videos. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you loved it as much as I do. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.